So as you may have seen in my previous videos, I went over the potential leaks for the theme of season four, and we've recently gotten some more information on season four and when we can expect the official reveal for the seasonal theme. But first we need a small recap of what this data mined or leaked information shows for the potential theme and content of season four. Now the first of this information was all of these splash screens for the cosmetics from the battle pass, and usually the cosmetics in the battle pass are directly tied to the seasonal themes and most of these cosmetics including all the armor cosmetics weapon cosmetics and even the mount cosmetics all had either a hellish more demonic theme or a more holy or angelic theme so the first thing i thought was going to be based around more of a light and dark theme but we got some further information through data mining and leaks that points to the theme of season four actually being a little bit different than that the first bit of this being the iron wolf's emblem being data mined and the iron wolves are a mercenary faction in the diablo franchise but instead of being like a ruthless mercenary faction that works with whichever side is paying them more they're more of a noble mercenary faction that usually tries to help and protect the everyday citizens of sanctuary and in this information we got their emblem and their emblem in game with the seasonal leaf symbol so that kind of points even more towards the theme of season four being iron wolf based then on the ptr you you could actually see some additional elements of iron wolves being tied into the season you could find iron wolf npcs fighting demons in hell tides you could actually get some wolf's honor reputation from killing certain enemies within hell tides there were also some whispers that just want you to actually assist iron wolves in the hell tides on the ptr then we got a bunch of data mined iron wolf items specifically gear pieces for players so like iron wolf boots legendary iron wolf necklaces and a bunch of other items we also got a full reputation reward system data mine kind of similar to the reputation system we found in blood harvest in season two so you would get a bunch more iron wolf gear then you would also get just tons of boxes of different resources some actually being specific to the iron wolf faction and then in another bit of information we got one of the most interesting potential parts of season four which is a new elixir called the profane mind cage that basically buffs up all enemies in a hell tide but also buffs up all the rewards you get kind of allowing you to juice up hell tides this also seemed to be specifically tied with this iron wolf theming so just more information pointing towards season four being built around this iron wolf faction but then we got some official information from more official sources and this started with a post going over some of the ptr feedback so the diablo team was just thanking all the players for going on the ptr and testing all of this stuff and that they're taking a lot of this feedback and making a lot of changes to season four more specifically all of the big permanent overhauls to the game that's coming with season four and they also said that they are excited that they could focus the majority of the season on your feedback and the ptr held barely anything back which we'll come back to and there are still a few items that they kept in store that will help to round out the season and this was also a small announcement that they plan on discussing all of this which includes all of the ptr feedback back and a reveal of the season four theme in an upcoming developer live stream they haven't given a specific date for that live stream but the next developer live stream will probably be in a couple weeks probably like in a week or two i'd expect and we'll be getting the season four theme there probably some trailers for season four and they'll be going over a lot of the big feedback they got with the overhauls that we got to test in the ptr but that's not all because adam fletcher also responded to a comment on reddit that gives us a little bit more information and he was responding to a comment talking Talking about basically the size of what we could expect from the theme of season four and he said i think most people have seen some of the things that got out regarding the season in the ptr we will add some light to those items in the upcoming stream a majority of the work has been built around the theme of this new season which is loot reborn as this is greatly changing the game going forward in both eternal and seasonal servers and is a new start to the d4 experience as we head into the vessel of hatred and beyond now originally reading this it is a bit weird that he talks about the loot reborn which are just the overarching overhauls being the theme of season four because the theme of seasons is something that is almost entirely talked about as the new content that's coming in a season like even in poe the theme of a new season is also something that's talked about so saying the theme of the new season is loot reborn is a little bit odd i think it's just a bit odd of a way to phrase this and i don't think loot reborn is the new content we're getting that's 
season four specific. I think this is specifically talking about all of the overhauls, which I think most people figured that because we're getting so much new content and so many big overhauls with the launch of season four, that that would be the majority of content with the season, which it is seeming like that sentiment is being echoed by these official sources that the actual season four specific content is probably not going to be super substantial, maybe even compared to previous seasons. And obviously the biggest part of this reply is mentioning the data mined information and some of the stuff that was on the PTR that probably shouldn't have been there, which in my opinion, I think kind of confirms that this Iron Wolf faction is going to be the main new content for season four. Whatever else is added on top of that, we don't really know, but the main content and features for the season are all going to be tied into this new faction. And there's probably going to be some complaints around the season four specific content, probably not being incredibly substantial, but I think it was pretty obvious with how much stuff we were getting with the permanent additions to season four, that the season four specific stuff wasn't going to be super substantial. And I think it's actually better that the season four specific content isn't going to be significant additions to the game. Because with the overhauls coming to season four that are permanent to the game, we're actually getting more content that we've gotten with any other season. Obviously, we're getting the complete loot overhaul, the affix overhaul, the overhaul to the Codex of Power, the additions of the new crafting systems. We're getting the addition of greater affixes, which is also a massive addition to gearing. We're getting basically the complete rebalance of the entirety of the game again, kind of what we got in season two. We're getting pretty substantial changes to every single class. And then we're also getting two new pretty substantial pieces of endgame content with a completely new system in the pit, which is easily the biggest piece of endgame content in the game now. Then we're also getting the level 200 uber bosses of all of the endgame boss ladder, including the addition of Andariel. So all of these permanent additions coming to the game with season four is actually just a bigger update than we've gotten with any of the previous seasons. So just off of all of the permanent additions, this is going to be the biggest season yet. But then it also seems like we're getting this Iron Wolf action that probably won't be super substantial itself, but that's just more content on top of what's going to easily be the biggest Diablo 4 update yet. Now, I've also had a theory after we got to play in the PTR and started getting some of this leaked and data mine information that the content we're actually getting specific to season four isn't going to be giving us a ton of new power or like a new power system. In every previous season of Diablo 4, and even if you look at any other season, of pretty much any other ARPG is they usually have a new power system, usually makes you much stronger specifically for that season. But I don't think that's going to be something that's coming with season four. And the main reason being that the balancing and general power of our builds is going to be completely different going from season three and four because of all the overhauls. I more suspect that the season four specific content is actually going to be augmenting more of how quickly we get items or how easy it is for us to progress into getting better items. We see this with the new Mind Cage Elixir that will allow us to make Helltides much more rewarding. We see this with a Helltide reputation system based around the Iron Wolves that just gives a ton of additional rewards. And when looking at all of this Iron Wolf specific gear, none of it has anything pointing to it having unique stats that we couldn't normally get. So I suspect all of this is just ways to allow us to gear more quickly and gear more easily, which will allow allow us to more easily see all of the new massive additions with season four, get into higher pits, see more of the crazy potential on gear now with getting all greater affixes, then tempering those items and master working them all, and then getting us strong enough to get into the new level 200 uber bosses. And I also have a more wild theory that all of this Iron Wolf specific gear that seems to be tied with the Iron Wolf faction that you'll get from the reputation system, and you'll probably just get through drops in other ways, is that these items are going to be still normal normal gear we can normally get, but maybe would have a guaranteed good rolls. Maybe this Iron Wolf gear is all guaranteed to have like one greater affix on it. That could actually help quite a bit in just buffing up our ability to gear without adding in new power systems because they just have a bunch of these Iron Wolf gear rewards that, you know, have at least one guaranteed greater affix, but they could still have more greater affixes. This could actually be a pretty cool way for this new seasonal system to work without just directly adding in a new power system, which will allow us to much more easily see all of the new overhauls. So if you're somebody that thought the season four specific
specific content was also going to add a massive amount of new content, you're probably going to be a bit disappointed. But overall, when looking at season four and everything coming with season four, this is going to by far be the biggest and best update to Diablo 4 in its entire history. But that's all I want to go over. So thanks for watching.